All right, so real quick, before we get into the game, I'm going to need to know from chat. I'll be looking at the opinions. Uh, am I too loud? Am I too quiet? Am I okay? Apparently, it was fine for the most part, but we did have some volume issues earlier today, and I want to make sure that nothing crazy is going on. But damn, the double extraction trick. Holy schmoly. In the bottom right, to kick off Frozen Temple, it's going to be the red Storm Gaming Zerg player. No regrets. In the top left, as the blue Protoss, it is state barcode. Now, it's worth noting they are both currently in Korea, so oddly enough, we are casting this on the Korean server. Uh, no regret, recently left to go train in the MVP house, which he is currently residing. We'll see if maybe someone over there can teach him how to stop doing all-ins. If someone there can teach him how to make a third hatchery. <laughs> Sorry, that one's for Jake. I know, I know he'll be watching the bottom of this later. Oh, I sold the check for nations. Um... Oh. Well, I don't I don't know what he is, his goal is, but I got to imagine in general to become a better person. Oh, thank you for the $25 donation, Mr. Boris Makarov. Woohoo! Uh, I actually that might actually say something. I should probably check that. I like that you say like a better person, like almost implying that he's like a bad guy in the first place cuz I just want to clarify that's oh, not better the person. case. <laughs> uh, but I'm actually really intrigued here with state more than no regret because the thing with no regret, okay, Sometimes he plays a little bit all in, and I like to give him some shit for it, and I've done it for years. But, that being said, State's a player of many different strategies, of many different tactics. And I'm curious if he's going to just fall prey to what is brute force from No Regret, or if he's going to read the situations appropriately, do things like get force fields to stop banlings, and shut it down. Hmm. I have a question. Does a personal donation count towards the color? Uh, I guess if you're willing to put it towards the color, I mean, it's up to you. It's okay, then twenty-five dollars to white. To white. All right. White. Who correct? Who white is right? <laughs> okay. Anywho. Well, what do you, what do you do? Um, Calm down. I don't know. Then actually, I, I start getting crazy at any times, you know. Okay. Uh, how much was it? Sorry, seven twenty-five. Yes, 25. That will put it at 76, and it is now 9? No, something less than blue. Blue's still winning. Not by much, but it's still winning. Well, I have some info coming in from outside secret sources, Pure Dragon, uh, that No Regrets is actually, doesn't even, didn't even really want to sign up for this qualifier, but was convinced to, because he is really tired. Because I He just I landed recently. It. Like He was tweeting yeah. pictures from the airports he was landing in. Thing. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say, like, he only like, arrived a while ago, so, I mean, even if he wasn't tired, even if it was, like, the day after, he still would be tired with, uh, jet lag. But we actually have a Ling all in coming in here, and I did make an Evo Chamber, so there could be Ling drops also, but State did not anticipate <laughs> this, because, I mean, it, it hit before Speed even <laughs> finished, so he already lost six probes and a Stalker. I mean, the Stalkers are probably the worst part to lose for this, because they're defense. There's no, there's no Mothership Core. There's not one on the way. He had skipped all this in favor of the Stargate, so... That was all of his defense. Like, those stalkers were essentially his photon overcharge. An oracle gets started up, but if he has to use the energy at home for the oracle, then that's still already done damage. This, this is, is a big problem. <laughs> I made jokes about No Regret. I made some teasing about his all -ins, but, I mean, they work, and that's what's scary about it. That's what makes him a player that's a <laughs> contender. Yeah. Yeah, if he I kills this pylon, if oh, he kills this pylon, that's game. Oh, that's dear. everything. Are you for real? I think it's worked. Uh, more lings, of course, are flooding in. There's no need to use the overload drops. He's already busted everything. Two more warp get to finish. That pylon's about to go down, however. Yeah, no warping for you. Mm. Uh, he's killed 13 probes. Norgret does have a probe lead. Or, sorry, a worker lead. So he doesn't even have to continue with the island if he'd like. But let's be honest, it's working so damn well. Why not? So mm -hmm. if he's worried about getting a full wall off over here, he's got an overlord morphine. He'll be able to just lift up and go to the main. Kill that Nexus instead. The Adept, yeah. not going to be enough to hold this. There's no production. There's no very, pilots powering anything. <laughs> it's like my house on the regular constantly experiencing power outs. <laughs> well, that's an effective first game. Yeah, uh, congratulations, no regret. He'll take map number one. Uh, I guess I'll throw out there. I didn't think I'd need to buffer this so early, but uh, no regret and state both have a loser's bracket to fall to. So should they lose, they will still be able to compete and play. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm starting to get like some Morgan Freeman cadence with my voice starting to give out like this, like, and he will play. In the future. Yeah. I still think it's crazy that these two got matched up against each other, but uh, it is what it is. Um, Runes of India are going to be a map number two. Yes. I'm actually sure, where are these guys even on the brackets? 
midway, upper mid. Oh, I see. Winner plays against nobody really enticing, but one of them will eventually play Peely Peely in round three, and that could be kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Black Sword, by the way, just hit us up with a 17 month resub. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. Okay, not been to Runes of Endion, though. We'll see you guys here in a moment. All right, folks. Game number one. Give us a taste of what to expect in the series. And Runes of Endion is no exception. I wouldn't be surprised if we saw something similar and crazy. But uh, not out of him in the bottom right. He's got to really tighten up his game if he wants to survive in his state. In the bottom left, as the blue Zerg, it is no regrets. So I will just say this straight up. I feel State is the overall better player between the two. No offense to No Regret, but we've just seen State mm. do better in tournaments in general. But No Regret's one of these players, like a laser, who are what was once a laser, who you would just not want to hit in the brackets. You weren't really worried about him winning a tournament, but you knew that like if you fought him in the brackets, you actually had a pretty good chance of getting knocked out. Receiving incoming uh, transmission. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Boris. We'll get to that in a moment. I just want to finish my thought really quick. But No Regret, like a laser, has become a better player in Legacy of the Void. And while I was making jokes and shots about that three-base hatchery, that's kind of like an inside joke from his own stream, uh, he's actually the type of guy that can play that macro game now, and he, he's not limited to those links. But State, I think, of all people you're playing, you should have known Norgrat would have done something like that. So, like, what if it's just, like, um, um, someone pushed you into a really cold pool, but now that you're in it, you know, you're going to be used to it? <laughs> And he's gonna do fine now. That's what I think is gonna happen. I, I kind of, I kind of feel the. It's a silly analogy, but I kind of agree with it. Like that's a good way to describe it. I think one of the problems too we saw with State was he really did try and take that expansion without a proper wall off, and that's what really sucked there. But uh, I'm trying to think. Like there's been so many games where we watch players like Naniwa and Mana and a few others who have had to like just constantly build back that wall over and over. Like you put the gateway down, then the two extra pylons, and it buys you the time to get the units out that you need. On Frost, it's a limited choke, so you don't have that option. Ruins of Endion is a bigger, wider ramp, but it's also more ability to build. So, again, maybe it's the same situation. State's got a different option to react to it. Mm. Actually, a very different situation. No regret went three hatch before pool. Um, gas, too, I believe. So, yeah. Pretty greedy, which I, I think it makes a lot of sense. You go for like an early pool in the one game, or it wasn't even actually an early pool, uh, an uh, Ling All In in the first game, and then you go for some greed the second game. Uh, it works both ways too. If he had another, you know, <laughs> attack with Lings, or if he had done something greedy, point is both have the option of potentially breaking down the rocks before anything can counter and, and you know, interrupt your macro, which might occur. Um, we see people blindly tear down the rocks. We see people wait, you know, get down to like 10 health and then break them down. And we see people just assume nothing's going to happen. So they don't break them down at all. Um, I feel as they like, both unless, like macro. Even if you include the option of a war prism, there's just so much so much opportunity. Like if you knock it down, you, just, you have that safety net. Speaking of which, hey, State won the safety net we threw. <laughs> I kind of forgot hey. about that. Just jogged my memory. Yeah. But, yeah, whether you're No Regret worried about State going for the Adepts, or whether you're State really worried about No Regret's Lings, I mean, tearing down the rocks just seems like a too good of a move to pass up, but no one really taking advantage of it just yet. No Regret was trying to chip them down, but tripping mm. back to his third, which State, by the way, has in fact scouted, so he knows about the third base being down. Yeah. Uh, he's just getting a regular macro build, looks like. He's going for an Oracle once again, so he actually didn't change up his build that much from last game, but, uh, you know, didn't get that soccer. Uh, still no Mothership Core. The Oracle, I don't know if No Regret's going to remember seeing a Starry Gate because it didn't really play a part in that last <laughs> I game. I know, the game ended before he could even get like the Oracle out. Yeah. It, the uh. pylon depowered sucks so much. I hmm. I guess if it, if it is going to be a Stargate opener, that's fine. We see this so commonly in just about every iteration of PvZ, whether it's Korean, North American, European, the same, same stuff flies. Literally. Ha. Uh, but what I would like to see is how he uses it. I mean, you can maybe get some drone kills. Maybe you focus on the queen. Maybe use on the links here to save your adepts so the adepts can do more damage later. Yeah. Or you, or you just do nothing with it at all. Yeah, or you just do nothing. <laughs> so that that really it took a while for it to actually do anything, and that's a little disappointing. It also flies into the base that has two queens already prepared when it could have gone to the main where only one queen was. Maybe got some damage done. But now spore crawlers are, of course, on the way. Uh, these links are not going to find much to do. Is he a forge building, which is a little interesting, as opposed to a third nexus, which, you know, it's it, it's funny to say Ruins of Endion is like a third base map, but it, it really is. Once you can break down those rocks, 
you know, that there's a lot of safety in that potential, and that usually just goes up to a macro game, unless someone does like a one base build first. <laughs> so you see well, a lot of early pulls on this map. <clears throat> yeah, what I wonder about though is, like, it, all things considered, once these rocks are knocked down, and these rocks are knocked down, I guess, twice or whatever. This third yeah. base is like one of the most exposed thirds we've ever seen. Like this is it actually is. a pretty not safe location. And yet we almost never see those rocks in the top of the natural broken down for whatever reason. Um, we do see it ha happen, but it just feels you like more what? often than not they're they're just kept up. What's frustrating for me though is that happens in every single one of my lab games. Like every yeah, single. Yeah, right. One. Well, that's always what happens. <laughs> it's like well, these guys do this one thing. Yeah, you'll never see a player fall to blank, but it happened to you every single time. Doesn't matter what yeah, race exactly. you are, just the situations. Yeah. Doesn't matter what league you so, are. It's the, the rule of Starcraft. Yeah, it's usually by the time you're prepared to deal with it that they finally break them down. So like when a Roach Hydra bust is on its way, then you'll see them broken down. But by then, like you're either going to defend against it or not. It's not going to be your third, third's position's fault. Proper English. Uh, English. <laughs> yeah, right? Anyway, uh, what's interesting is no regrets taking this space. Oh, denied. Yeah, just kidding. Uh, but taking this as a fourth base, um, it's interesting because, you know, we see... It, both players take those fourth bases and suddenly the middle of the map is actually the contention point which looks very funny because it's a stupid smiley face but it can mm. happen mm. Uh, we got the Bailey nest coming down but this is paired up with hydras which I find really interesting and I, I think one of the problems with this I mean you'll see bailings and or sorry excuse me you see zerglings and hydras it's a pretty staple part of the composition but the Banelings do have quite the gas cost and without eight gases I question how many or effective they'll be because, I mean, the, if the idea is the one thing that scares your Hydras truly most, it's not a Disruptor, it's not a Colossus, it's going to be the amount of charge lots there are. Banelings take care of that. If his goal for these Banelings is strictly for that and nothing more, I can see him making this work with his current econo economic situation. But if he wants anything more, he needs these two gases. Hmm. Well, uh, we'll see what happens if the... If State basically realizes what's going on and actually like realizes he's going to be attacked in the bottom, I think you do know if they're going to take a fourth base, it's usually with also going to attack. But also how many and if Banelings in general are coming out. As you see his vision, he did not see the Banelings nest. He only saw the Hydralis then. Uh, so he might be surprised by that. There's not much he can do to change his tech, struck, his tech path now. He's getting charged. He's getting Immortals. I'm really worried for State, though. He's in that classic Protoss situation where he just doesn't have a lot of supply right now. Uh, maybe the stasis trap catches a small amount of these lings, but truth be told, it's not going to touch any of the hydras. Mm. And the hydras alone can overwhelm this army. Like, my god. State, yeah. is in, state is in a really bad spot. <laughs> it's a very delicate position right here. Down 30 army supply. He's got a stasis ward to help out. A stasis trap, whatever. I don't <laughs> think it's going to work, though. Like, this might catch a couple of the banelings. This might catch a couple of the zerglings. But there's so many. Like, the hydras alone could win this game, I feel. Why are you praying on his rock? Well, I guess it gives him a little bit more room to maneuver if he does have to back off. Yeah. But it looks so funny. He's like helping out state. It's like pity. <laughs> uh, okay. Just catches a couple of lings. Not very useful at all. A couple of sentries are warped in oh, in preparation God. for those bane lings. They, they have speed in like one second. If he goes in now, he might, he's not going to have it. Five seconds to go on those centrifugal hooks. He's still going to just walk in, but the force fields go up and the zealots go down, but not enough of them. And the bane lings have got to back away from these pylons. Overcharge oh, is absolutely well, you know, wrecking that Zergling count. And the Hydras can take on the army, but they can't take on the army and the pylons. Yeah, well, the pylons are no longer an issue. The Mother's did go down. Uh, there wasn't a lot of charge that's over, but State is replenishing that number. And the Phoenix is just still pretty healthy on that energy. It's like 50-50 on how good these Adepts will be. The Banelings are getting picked up. The uh, has got to back away for the moment. Third base for State, not really in danger just yet, but that's where his double Robos are. And these Banelings are both back up at the front line. These mm. just need to connect to anything, and they'll be effective. They can even just trigger the shield on the Immortal, and it's fine oh, when they no. roll into the oh. sentries. Oh, I thought those Bailings were actually going to hit those sentries, but they are kind of stuck behind those Hydras. So they get about half of them, though. Yeah, I, well, they still got a lot of the Zealots. The sentries are not out of juice, so like they're, they're not exactly useless, <laughs> but... Uh, this is what they that one gets to the heart of them. Uh, this isn't looking so great for State, but no regrets not using all of his he's, bank. Yeah, he's used up a lot of his mojo, and I think if I had to check, yep, he's low on larva is one of the bigger issues right now. Uh, okay, well, that's a serious problem. He also never got up above 55 drones. He's not really utilizing that fourth base, and you know we, you know that the gas guys you never took him. Uh, and gas is only a slight problem. It is more to that larva problem. So it's 
you know, eventually they popped and he now has his bank down, but that was a lot of momentum that he just lost out on. That was the centuries without Absolutely. energy. Uh, and that was charge lots finally all gone. You're getting to the heart of the immortals and now everything looks okay again for state. Well, state also takes the base. Thanks to no regrets help. Small price yeah. to pay for it. Uh, <laughs> I really like these storms though. Now that there's Templar in play, Storm's already quite good versus Hydra. Storm and charge lock combination, absolutely wreck Hydra's. But they're going to be really good at taking out the low health banelings and really good at taking out the low health lings. Like, just blanket these storms everywhere through a couple of force fields where you miss the storms, and I think it'll be fine. So no regret worrying about this. Let's move on to the next stage of his tech. But I do want to stress, he has no upgrades going for him. There's no plus one on any direction. No armor, no melee, no ranged. So brute force in StarCraft 2 can only go on for so long. This is like, it's a weird way to describe it because it's a four base situation, but it's like a continued all in. It's an yeah. extended all in. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable to say that, even though the, the economic situations look that bad. But the, the fact is that no upgrades and also the lurkers have technically already been countered. Like the, the immortal counts, archons are out, storms will help out too. Lurkers are not as scary as they are when, you know, it's oh. it's three minutes earlier in the game and, and they don't have a lot of prepared for it. I barely touched the bailings and they almost all died. Yeah, so the only problem I can see for state is pushing down a ramp into what is sort of a choke, but the storms are really helping out. Only oh, a couple of the high Templars, uh, and the lurkers still aren't out. He dragged so. his butt through those uh, storms. Now this is going to be a little bit scary because State's whoa, whoa, actually going to put whoa, his whoa, valuable whoa, back whoa. line next to these banelings. Those they... are still going to explode. What are you doing? Yeah, okay. He, okay, reali he realizes it now. <laughs> <laughs> what a use of force fields. Ah, just go the donut. Charge us still running in there like idiots. What are you from the Legacy of the Void cinematic, dummy? Yeah. Let the Hydra uh, take care of it. There's a couple of retreating storms, and the Hydras, you know, they're not going to last very long to charge lots, and much less, you know, the, the storms that could be um, on the backside for states. God, no. Do you have any high Templars? Oh, no, those are the last ones. I just want to, okay, I'm sorry, no regret. I got to point out your terrible macro game here, mate. Like, look at this queen in the main with all this energy and no injects. So, like, I just looked over is... here, no inject. It's why his larva problem has been such a, well, factual problem. He's finally used his money, but no regret was, like, what, almost 2K, 1K there for a moment? Like, it was pretty bad, but again, it's not to, to knock that, you know, Norgret has this, you know, history I mean, about was, him. Uh, it bank? is that oh, sorry. he's also super tired, uh, and he didn't even really want to play because he was so tired, but... Well, okay, no making excuses for him here. I mean, part of that was he was waiting for the Lurker, so he needed some money. But as we see, the all-in is not working out, man. GG, State ties up the Series 1-1. But Zymgrub's right, like... uh we, I'm, I'm kind of friends with Norgret. I've seen his tweets over the last couple of days, his journey from North America, Toronto, East Coast to Korea. It's been a while. So, um, yeah, he's he is dreadfully tired from what we're aware. We'll see if that cuts him out here on this next game. We're going to go to a small break. We'll get the lobby up, though, so don't go anywhere. We'll see you soon. All right, folks, we're actually just going to hop directly into the game screen. There is, after all, no map intro that we have for this, but we got back, and as you can see, timed out perfectly with that ad break. So... Um, just a small note on that. Everyone's asking about the Twitch announcement today, and they were talking. We were talking a little bit about it before stream, but now that we got a couple thousand people here, I want to go over it just a little bit. Um, we discussed the potential of this, and we don't actually know the specifics of how the new subscribers don't get ad system will work. As of current, we don't have plans to change it, and we don't have plans to turn ads off for our subscribers. Part of this is because right now, ad revenue is the only way it means I'm currently make money. So we have to actually take some time to figure out how we'd split things up differently. If we turned off ad revenue, if it meant that like we literally, because we don't know whether that means we're going to get like half the amount of ad revenue we currently get, which is already not very fucking much, or if it's going to be um, something we like can't, we can't even afford to sustainably do. So give us a few days to get this stuff sorted. I'm just going to say right now, as of this moment, subscribers are not going to be like ad free. I don't even know if the options available on Twitch yet, but I just want to put it in the clear so everyone's on the same page. At any rate, welcome back in the top right. It is tied up now 1-1. We have the blue Zerg, no regrets. In the bottom right as the red Protoss, it is state. Uh, and just speaking on money related topics really quick, Mr. Boris Macroft did donate during that last game, didn't get a chance to tab out and fix my Twitch alerts. So just now I'd like to read the $10 donation. He says, uh, putting it more towards white. So add that in really quick. And I think that'll put white in the lead now, from what I understand. Oh boy. Oh boy, I can change my color. Yes, in fact, it is now in the lead by $5. Amazing. Nice. 
cool. All right, and uh, thank you, Quadchi. 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 Oh. Thank you for resubbing you and Mubuntu. I'm sorry I can't say names. <laughs> but uh, Coral Carnage Knockout, these spawn locations have actually led to a very awkward scenario where if they expand towards their thirds, they will be next door neighbors. Yes. Yes. Yes, they would. This is how I first was, uh, I first experienced this map, actually. No, wait a minute. Mine was even worse. Uh, I was where State was, and Fear Dragon was actually the third base of State of No Regrets. So I lit at a back door into his main base. So that was really difficult. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, it wasn't a great first impression for this map, uh, just in general. But it's actually become one of those fun maps. It still has these, like, you know, it, Terran versus Terran, I hate taking a, a command center in general, so I was like one base on here. Uh, obviously, for any matchup whatsoever, it's just there's so many rocks to break down. You can you can play stupidly long games, you break every time every down uh, every rock down, blah, or you can play stupidly short games if you break the correct rocks down and then get into people's faces without them noticing. Yeah, that's true. Uh, this is gonna be a bit awkward though, because Nurgrid does get in before any of this is finished up, and he walks right away from that pylon. So the overcharge gets baited in the wrong direction. Probe not quite ready to block. Uh -oh. State tried to at the last second, but looks like uh, the adept of the mothership core should still be okay to clean this up. But for a, oh. a harrowing second, this looks dangerous. But Nurgrid is continuing to dedicate to an all-in, so he is going to be bringing more lings. Unlike that first game, though, he certainly didn't get the damage done that he wanted to, and he's running out of time. Because if those rocks go down, this attack falls flat on its face. Yeah, and they're about to go down. Focus firing on it would be the better move. He's going to lose an adept for it, but some other ship core still breaks it down. And now no regret would have to break down either these rocks or the ones behind State's base. And I guess he's going to go on for those because there's no pylon over there. He knows that with an overlord. He could transform the overlord as well as getting an evo chamber. But this is already a much, much better hold than that first game for State. This is the back rocks unscouted by State, though. No regret almost, like, I want to say faking out that he wants to chip away at the front. Because for State to analyze this, any normal player would have macroed after this and said, ah, I'm behind. But not no regret. No mm -hmm. regret doesn't need to go through rocks if you can go over rocks. But dropping like into finally. a depth is not going to work. Yeah, he finally remembers and sends some depths over there. But, you know, it, okay, oh, so we can actually... Elevator, uh, apparently? Yeah. yeah. Or whatever you want to call it when it's side to side. I mean, it's, it's slow, but it's working, and it's slow. I mean, it's not super effective, but it is breaking the adept line just at the cost of so many lings. Uh, I don't think this is going to work. Where are the rest of the lings going to come in? Like the same spot? Yeah, they're just going to use the uh, mother or the overload, but now the mothership well, core is going to go and vote and overcharge it. That's not going to happen. Yeah, but that's most of the defense. Avoider is a smart choice over an oracle, because Avoider is not limited by its oh, energy. This time. He has production. He actually has yeah. gateways that aren't broken with pylons. And this is not going to work for No Regret. So now we start he's, to try and drone out of it. It's not an even worker count, though. <laughs> and he is, he has got plus one weapons on the way behind this. So, I mean, not for not. I like what his potential has behind this. But I see can't see him really transition. knocking down these rocks easily. Or anytime soon. In fact, knocking down these rocks might be his best bet. Mm. Uh, that is a... I think that's a really good opportunity. So it does open up a closer pathway for State to get to his third. But, you know, counterattacks are really the, the Zerg's prerogative here. And he's going to want to break down as many rocks as possible. Unfortunately, I think that the problem is not like the drone count being really low. Because it is even with States. But just that the army is inferior. Uh, even with that plus one melee finishing up, which is pretty scary. Uh, the correct positioning of adepts, the Voidery actually has no answers, <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, the Queen should be coming up here soon, but it's going to do a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, thank you, Mr. Jew, for the $10 donation. We'll get to that after this, uh, and as well as for Haley for 19 months. Or if you can read it, can you read it? Because I can't access Twitch alerts for some reason. It keeps, like, I have to keep refreshing it. I don't want to tap Oh, out. yeah. Uh, uh, Mr. Joe, or something like that, donated $10 and says, I'll donate more if I can get a date with Zombie Grub. And the answer is no. Well, how much more? Don't say no nope. yet. Nope. Nope. You're not, not my pimp. <laughs> what about what about if he what if his offer was a million dollars? You didn't have to do anything sexual. It's just like a date. So you go to the movies with some guy. Uh, you maybe you'd have to pay with. me in advance and then wait two weeks. I think you don't know how this works. <laughs> I think you're bad at this game. For a date? Yeah. 
Why? That way right. you can't like charge it back. And it actually is real. Alright, the nice snipe and the recall goes off. It keeps all the units alive. That's kind of a clever move to use the elevator trick for his own advantage against Norgret. We got the Dark Shrine finishing up in a moment too, and this I feel is the most dangerous thing. Zerg typically don't have trouble with this, but because there's no Stargate opener, there's no Oracle, there's no like Phoenix, nothing baited out a spore crawler. And no regret. Okay, maybe makes an overseer or two, but it most likely comes in too late. Yeah. Uh, we do have states trying to get past these rocks, by the way. He's not only like warping in, he's trying to break them as well. A single DT is involved here. It's going to add a lot of damage, but I mean, <laughs> it's, it's actually not even super necessary. This is already enough damage. Oh, the force fields can protect. Says, Fight me. Yeah, there you go. And the DTs are shaking out the queens. They were trying to take out the Void Ray. Now, this could have alerted no regrets. You know, the sound of a swiping DT is usually really easy to spot, but I don't know the situation right now. Like, one of his heads isn't even plugged in. Uh, and of course, he's very tired, so I'm not sure he would have noticed that. He does have an Overseer morphing in, though, so maybe he does. That's just game. And series. So, State will advance early on in the brackets, and no regret will sadly fall to the losers immediately. We'll see if he sticks in it or if he's going to tap out. Some, again, not trying to make up excuses for him being tired and all that, but some players really do just tap out at the loser's bracket. They're like, you know what? I don't want to sit around for five more hours. Not going to be worth it. Yeah. Okay, that'll send us to a break. We're going to hop back to North America. We're going to try and find you guys another match, so don't go anywhere. Zombie has got the steering wheel. We'll find you guys something fun soon. Be back in a couple minutes. <laughs> 